Welcome and good afternoon, Makati Science High School. Welcome to ITCG's Connected Webinar for Discussion, Where Art Thou Step Creatives? Part 1. Growing as an artist in a STEM-focused school. I am Ashki Badong, ITCG Executive Vice President. And I am Yuan Gerard Zafra, your ITCG President. And we are today's and we, hosts, we are and today's hosts and moderators. And moderators. So first off, we would like to thank the Maxi student body for accepting our invitation to join our webinar discussion. We came up with these webinars with the main objective to guide and assist not only student artists, but also every student in our institution. Ever since, it has always been our goal to prioritize helping our students through these webinars. We believe that our alumni speakers may help in guiding students struggling in maintaining their grades without losing their passion. Now, of course, all of that would not be possible without our speakers. So we would also like to take this time to thank them for participating in this webinar and sharing their insights and experiences in their field. Thank you for lending us your time and dealing with our constant barrage of messages and requests these uh, past few weeks. Now, let's begin with our first speaker. He is um, a, Mac a Makati Science High School Batch 2019 graduate and is currently now um, taking the course of BS Inter Interior Design and in coming second year at UP Diliman. Everyone, that may we have Kuya, let's call him Kuya since alumni siya, and let's have Kuya Glenn Cultura from UP Diliman. Okay, so. Hi. Hi, Kuya Glenn. Hello, Kuya Glenn. And now, Ashki. Next, our Let's second speaker is a Makati yes. Science High School uh, Bachelor's in uh, Communication, uh, Batch 2020, with a Bachelor's <laughs> in Communication Arts. So, she's an incoming first year at UP Los Baños. Please welcome Leila Feliciano. Hello, Hello Ate Leila. Hello. So, there you go. Hello, Ate Leila. Thank you for being here. So we have Kuya Glenn and Ate Leila. And now, for our third and last speaker for today, she is our former ITCG She is a rock resident. star. Rock star indeed. And she is a digital artist. She is a graduate of Makati Science High School Batch 2020. And she will take a Bachelor of Arts film. And she is now... And she is now student of UP Diliman in coming first year. Now, everyone, may we introduce Ate Julian Rose Reyes. So, Hi. Hello, Ate Julian. Hello. Hi. Thank you. Thank you for, coming, thank you for, for joining. coming with us here, joining, and, and thank you for being our inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> yes, truly. Okay. Okay. So, now that we've introduced our speakers, uh, I feel it's uh, we can now continue to this uh, to the part of the webinar where we ask the questions to our speakers, right? So yes, the first question I would like to ask uh, all three of you is, uh, what were your experiences as an artist in Maxai? So first, we would uh, uh, Kuya Glenn would uh, can answer this one first. Hello. So, um, experiences in Maktay. Um, I'd say na nag-start ako um, sa pagsali sa organization. So, kita, dun sa screen, nakilata yung parang part ako ng SSG and other orgs din. And because part ako ng different organizations, ngayon, dun ko na-develop yung, yung skills ko as an artist. And dahil dun, um, parang para naging um, isa ko sa mga na-assign para gumawa ng posters for several events like yung school fairs, from the Vision Book Education Week. And then, ayun. Aside from, aside from um, joining organizations, I also did um, personal commission. Like I designed shirts. Tapos um, I ventured then into illustration and merchandise design and ayun yun naman so far lahat ng parang experience ko as an artist in Moktai
Okay, thank you, uh, Kuya Glenn. Uh, next, uh, Ate Leila, could you, you have, uh, could you answer the question? Okay, so yung, naiinig ba ako? Yes, yes po. Okay, yung nag-start yung experiences ka sa mak na being an artist sa Makai, eh syempre sa classroom and group presentations, uh, dun ko nahasa yung pagiging uh, performing artist ko. Uh, siguro after a few, after some time, yun na yung naging role ko sa high school life ko. Yung nag-lead sa class, sa mga classroom performances, and yung mga school events na ginagawa, like English, English week, ganun. And then, ayun, naging part ako ng ilusyon. Siguro ito yung, naging part ako ng ilusyon for four or three years. Uh, siguro ito yung pinaka-productive kong years as an artist in Maxay. Kasi syempre, uh, na-hone ko yung talents ko as an artist with the people with the same passion as mine. Tapos, ayun, dahil sa ilusyon, uh, specifically because of Sir Balingasa and Sir Boro, na sumali ako sa mga competitions na related sa performing arts. Uh, kasi palagi sila yung lumalapit sa akin to offer me to um, represent Maxay in competitions like mga dulaan, uh, talking word poetry, writing, and speaking. Tapos, because of illusion din, nakasali ako sa mga workshops, free theater workshops. Kasi, ayun nga, I don't have the luxury to register in uh, professional workshops in PETA, ganun. So, sobrang blessing to have illusion sa growth ko as an artist. Tapos, ayun, yung outside of Maxay, uh, part of my growth is nakakuha ko ng internship in the Sandbox Collective sa Maybank Theater in PGC. Uh, I was offered an internship as an usher sa back-to-back -back show nila na Every Brilliant Thing and Lungs. So, sabang nakatulong yun kahit one month pa lang ako nandun because of pandemic. And hopefully, pag bumalik na yung theater industry, itutuloy ko yung internship. Thank you, Ate Leila. Uh, next, um... Boss Jules, uh, what about you? So, naging part ako ng ITCG for, uh, since nung grade 11 or 10. Yeah, ayun. Nung 28, school year 28 into 2019, naging vice president ako and president naman nung last school year. Uh, dun, sobrang dami namin ginawang editing and of course, dahil dun, uh, dun ko talaga nahasa. Of course, uh, nagbo-volunteer works din kami. If part kayo ng other orgs na kikipag-partner kami with that, with those orgs, kasi, uh, ayun nga, we offer our talents din. And uh, next, doon naman sa isa ko pang org na sinalihan is yung Kadluan. Part ako nito since grade 10 and sobrang, sobrang saya dito kasi sobrang dami ko natutunan. Hindi lang sa field ko, na, na, nakapag, nakasalamuha ko rin yung ibang tao na iba-iba yung like yung mga writers na katulad nila, nila Karen. Ayun. And uh, the next naman is marami rin ako sinalihan na committees. Ah, contest muna. So yung contest, usually sinasalihan ko is either graphic designer film. Like ito, yung hakbang, it won sa Sinelaya last school year ng best screenplay and second place for best picture. Tapos sumali rin kami ng Sinelixik ni Rihanna ng grade 10. Uh, we won champions in the division and then nakapasok kami hanggang regionals. And then sumali rin kami ng Docubata. Ayan, for two years. And uh, next. Yung committees naman, sobrang dami ko sinalihan na committees sa school. Like any opportunity na ma-offer ko yung, uh, yung abilities ko. Like for example, sa intramural, intramurals committee, since grade 8, nakasali na talaga ako doon. Uh, ayan. Tapos, Brigada 2019, nag-design committee ng ITCG. So, ayan, marami rin kaming ginawa. And the first ever Gender Sensitivity Awareness Month ng Maxay. Kasama rin ako sa mga nag-designs nun. Yeah. Alright, thank you for those uh, okay. answers, speakers. <laughs> so, again, it's... Uh, so, thank it's, you. It's mind-blowing to see that... Um, 
we have these uh, creative peoples coming out from 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 an outside perspective what looks like a very stem focused school right so yes and you're, from, you're from an inspiration see, to all of us yes from what we can see guys um our speakers just like us they also have a lot of activities not only studying and during and during that um, time that they're studying in Maxai, they're also pursuing their passion okay so thank you speakers for sharing your experience in our school now let's proceed to our next question now what difficulties did you face as an artist in a stem focused school and how did being in a stem focused school help you in your growth now maybe call on kuya glenn um, to share his experience okay so for me yung yung difficulties ko lang naman talaga sa sa ginagawa ko is yung pagbalance talaga ng akad ng akaden and responsibilities ko as a student leader also di ba stem nga tayo so parang heavy yung workload ng academics natin so parang parang isa yung sa mga challenges na 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 nahirapan na kong nagbasan pero dalagbasan naman nagawa ko naman ng maayos ay think and then yung lang is yung in since parang ang mas sinisikat ko yung standard ko for myself so somehow nape-pressure ko yung sarili ko na mas gandahan pa so parang mas galingan pa so parang yun yung problema ko before pero um overall naman it being in a STEM school so parang it helped me kasi parang feel ko ba ang dami ko lang na experience and knowing na 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 directly kung talaga din ang full feeling siya for me okay now let's proceed to Atelela um may you share your experience to us thank you okay so yung difficulties ko sa Maxay is I was always faced with a dilemma. Kasi it's either uh, ititake ko yung chance to hone my talents now or ACADS. Kasi pala, hindi naman palagi pero maraming times na nangyari sa akin yun. Parang namimili ako in, dun sa dalawa. For example, uh, ayun nga, di ba pala, sinabi ko kanina, palagi akong ina-offeran nila Sir Balingasa ng, ng chance to represent pa sa competitions. There are times na tinatanggihan ko kasi kailangan ko munang mag-focus sa ACADS or like merong isang group presentation na kailangan gawin na hindi ko kaya mawala since ako yung maglilid, ganun. Tsaka, I- I'm not saying naman na it's a bad choice na palaging pinipili yung ACADS. It's just that na ganitong time pa lang, naisip ko na yung magiging future ko if ever uh, pipiliin ko yung choice to hone my talents. Parang nararamdaman ko na kapag pinili ko yun, something's going to happen bad pag hindi ako nag-focus sa ACADS. Um, ayun din, sa future, it's whether I choose a STEM course in college or keep pursuing arts. Yan yung palagi kong ino-overthink habang nasa magsay ako. Uh, also, I was pressured in a lot of ways. I was pressured to lead since ayun, I shared with you, Anina, na parang yun na yung naging role ko sa high school life ko. So, every time na may cast production na kailangan ng tulong ko, I was always pressured to lead kasi nga ina-expect na magaling ako doon kahit na Alam mo yun, walang-wala akong creativity at that time. Parang sobrang walang-wala ako. So, pinipilit ko yung sarili ko na to be good at what I'm doing since they expected me to do it. Kasi lahat, lahat ng grades, everyone's grade nakasalalay doon. So, ayun, pressured ako doon. Also, I'm pressured to keep the standard of being a Maxi student since uh, STEM focus school nga yun. So, pressured pa rin akong maging mabuti sa ACAD. So, sobrang hirap lang as an artist kasi nga may standard ka na kinikip 
as a STEM student and at the same time, yung standard mo to be good at being an artist. Kasi hindi ko kaya maging one of those students na, alam mo yun, uh, maghihintay na lang na ituutos sa akin since ako nga yung ina-expect nilang mag-utos. So that's very hard for me kasi personally, nahihirapan na akong mag-juggle ng ACADS tapos at the same time, ayun nga yung pagiging artist. Kaya at some point in my life, uh, parang naging requirement na yung pagiging artist. Kaya... Uh, siguro nung grade 11, dun ako nag-decide to lay low first. Kasi sobrang drain na drain na ako as an artist, ganun, and stuff like that. Pero, marami pa rin namang natulong. And sa dun yung, it helped me stay grounded. Kasi, ayun nga, I may be good at performing and the overwhelming fulfillment of it would make me cocky. Kasi nga, if nakuha ko yung praises, ganun, parang magiging mayabang na ako sa ginagawa ko. Pero being a stu- student in Maxay, na-realize ko na hindi ako magaling sa lahat ng bagay. Meron akong mga bagay na hindi kaya ang gawin. Meron akong bagay na pwede ako mag sa ibang tao. Kaya it helped me stay grounded. Tapos, ayun din, it showed me the struggles of pursuing a STEM course. It's, uh, I realized na hindi lang yung artists yung nagsustruggle to reach their dreams. Kasi, ewan ko, as long as we live in this capitalistic society, we work to survive. Tapos, no shade. Uh, hin- hin- ano yun? Hindi properly funded yung mga uh, industries na dito sa Pilipinas. Kaya, not everyone are given the equal opportunity to grow as an artist or like as uh, pursuing your dream. Yun, yun yung na-realize ko in being a Maxi student. Also, it changed my perspective on my purpose. Uh, kasi noong grade 9, basta dun ko na nalaman na gusto kong mag-perform para sa ibang tao. Pero yung purpose ko is just to entertain. Pero as time passes by, kita ko yung mga kabatch ko na may sari-sariing dream. Uh, gusto nila maging scientist to to help people in finding vaccines and stuff. Uh, parang na-realize ko na hindi ko, hindi ko dapat purpose yung pag-entertain lang. Kailangan serve the people. Yeah. Thank you, Ate Leila, for sharing. And now, let's <coughs> proceed to Boss Jules. Hi. Okay, so, thank you, Ate uh, Leila. Yung difficulties na, na na-face ko sa, sa Maxay as an artist is, syempre, hindi naman tayo art school. So, hindi lahat familiar sa ginagawa natin. So, minsan na may misunderstand nila yung process ng, ng paggawa natin. So, minsan that leads us that leads other people na in-street yung, yung artist or yung art natin. So, ayun. And the next is sometimes, uh, sobrang gamit siya sa school natin, pero minsan sobrang little yung value na pinapakita. Hindi naman sa hindi nila binavalue, pero syempre hindi kasi yun yung focus ng school natin. So, ayun, marami, maraming pinapagawang short films, prods, pubmats, edits, Pero wala naman tayong subject na naka-focus doon, like how to write scripts, build set designs, draw, illustrate, or mag-edit, gano'n, ng After Effects, ayun. Pero, of course, meron naman tayong subjects like MAPE, MIL, ICT, in English, pero, syempre, of course, hindi naka-focus doon. So, dahil doon, nagsa-self-study tayo. Ayun, gamit na gamit sa atin yung YouTube. So, uh, sariling sikap tayo habang pinapagsabay natin yung requirements natin and yung passion natin. So, yung last day is yung pressure to take a STEM course kasi sobrang dami yung mga kaklase natin. Makikita mo, mag engineer sila, mag doctor mag it Meron pa nga nagsabi sa tao raw for taking an art or a creative course. Siyempre, sobrang, naka- sobrang nakakatakot nun. Like, may fear na nga na baka mahuli tayo or baka, baka walang pera sa arts. Tapos, 
Tapos, alam mo yun, sabi yung panat, ano, na ang tapang mo, so, nababalidate yung fact na dapat tayo matakot. Pero, ayun. Pero, all of that, uh, may, may, despite all of that, na, maraming naitulong sa akin yung maksay sa pag-grow ko as an artist. So, uh, yung una-una is, ginamit ko yung scientific concepts as an inspiration. Like ito, sobrang adik ko sa geology, lalo na sa earth history. So, gustong-gusto ko nag-draw ng prehistoric creatures. Like, ayan, nag-drawing na, uh, ako ng anatomy, ay natuto rin ako mag-drawing ng, ng mag-illustrate ng environments and backgrounds. And kapag nato ko ng films, yung pinakagusto ko yung merong sci-fi na concept. And yung favorite ko na film is Jurassic Park. So kapag nagsusulat ako ng stories or ng, uh, ng, ng scripts, ayun, nire-relate ko sa sci-fi or science concept or technology. Ayun. Tapos yung, yung next naman is dahil nga uh, ang daming times ako na excuse kasi ang dami kong orgs and clubs na kailangan. I was forced to improve my time management skills kasi ayun nga uh, while doing my requirements gumagawa rin ako ng time para sa passion ko. Also kapag artist ka, 'di ba? Kapag group works, ikaw mag-edit ng PowerPoint, ikaw mag-edit ng video, ikaw gagawa ng poster or kapag mayroong presentation, yung mga performers yung sinasabak, yung mga singers, yung actors. Ayun, kaya minsan mas matagal yung nilalaan natin na time para sa ibang projects, presentations. Lalo na kapag na-excuse ka. Kasi, ayun, sobrang kailangan mo humabol ng requirements mo. So, kailangan mo talaga matutunan yung time management. And next naman, sobrang laki ng help ng ICT sa growth ko as an artist. Kasi doon ako natuto mag-web design, mag gumamit ng Photoshop, and mag-edit ng videos. Ayun, itong, itong naka-flash sa screen ngayon, it's a game I made sa Scratch na pinresent namin sa exhibit namin sa subject ni Sir Ernel. Dati nung grade 8 ako, nung scratch, hindi siya pinansin kasi gusto, gusto ko nang mag-go into the legit, legit na coding. Kasi kapag tinignan mo yung scratch, mukha siyang pambata. Pero nung grade 12 kami, nag-seminar kami, uh, in-invite kami, in kami ni Sir Flores, Sir LJ Flores sa seminar. Kasama ko si Riana Tario and Joshua Omugtong. And about just in a about just sa pag-use ng scratch in a more advanced way and then to na realize na grabe marami pa pala ako pwedeng magawa doon and ito yung etong game na to yung paggamit ko ng scratch yun yung naka-help sa akin makakuha ng isang scholarship sa art school kasi ako lang yung nagpasa ng portfolio na merong game so guys wag yung maliitin yung ICT subjects niyo Kasi sobrang laking advantage na natututunan niya sa ICT. Kahit technically hindi siya art subject, pero ayun. Gamitin niya na natututunan niya sa ICT. And ayun. Yun next is, it made me realize that art is universal. Kasi nga, science high school tayo. Pero alam niyo, ang daming, ang daming events, ang daming opportunities na nagagamit ko yung skills ko. And hindi lang nagagamit, nai-improve ko pa siya, nahuhun ko siya. So, ayun. Kaya nga may subjects pa rin tayo na map eh. Si PAR. And may contest din tayo na pwede sumali. So, in the future, like, natatakot ako. Like, what if walang opportunities paglabas ko ng school? Pero, na-realize ko na sa school pa nga lang, sobrang dami ko na opportunities. Of course, sa real world, naroon din. And yung last, it gave me a desire to serve. Kasi nga, sobrang dami ko opportunities na mag-serve through clubs, orgs, events, and contests. Naging natural na sa akin yung desire na okay, tutulong ako, I'll offer my my, ab my abilities and talents kapag merong program, ganun. It made me realize na yung art, it's, it's it goes beyond my personal growth as an artist. Like, we're helping the Maxay community and pag-step din natin sa real world, meron din tayo makakontribute din as artists. Ayan na. Okay, so thank you very much, Ate Julian, and to our three speakers, to our other speakers, paraming salamat po. And again, to Maxi students, their message is very clear. Um, they were just like us, experiencing a lot of difficulties, um, obstacles, challenges, but along the way, hindi, kahit nagkaroon sila ng doubts dun sa passion nila, hindi nila to nakalimutan at binawi pa nila to 
para mag-improve as a person and of course na isabay din yung pag-maintain ng grades nila. Okay? So, keep in mind na kahit tayo nasa STEM school, we might experience problems but what mas mahalaga na maka na ma-overcome natin 'yun and of course um remember to continue pursuing our, pa- our our own passion kahit ano pa yan okay right. now Ashley let's okay. proceed to the next so, question for the third questions for our three speakers um where are you now and what is next for you in your art journey so first uh, um first and foremost Kuya Glenn um Ginig ba ako? Yes po, Kuya Glenn. <laughs> yes. So, so um, since ako naman, since nasa design design course na rin ako, which is interior design, feel ko, I'll, I'll pursue it na talaga. And then, apply na lang kung ano yung kung ano yung mga alam ko sa graphic design to my profession. Kasi nga, sa, sa course ko, um, meron kami classes na design presentation. So, it helps na meron akong alam sa graphic design para mas ma-communicate ko yung design ko in 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 yes, interior design and then sana soon makapag start din ako ng sarili kong clothing line since meron din naman akong meron akong experience in merchandise and designing shirts and other products so parang feel ko gusto kong i-pursue yun and then lastly um so ko pa mag-focus sa digital illustration and photography kasi feel ko I can improve there pa. Ayan. Thank you, Kuya Glenn. Uh, your own clothing line, um, will that uh, will that arrive anytime soon? <laughs> Hindi ko pa sure, pero depende, depende. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm excited. Ready akong bumili dyan. <laughs> Thank you, Kuya Glenn. Um, Next up is uh, Ate Leila. So, ako naman, syempre, ayan, communication arts in UPLB, and I decided na magbe-major ako in theater arts. Tapos, siguro, while studying, iku-continue ko yung internship ko in the Sandbox Collective, or after high school, I might even work there, kasi I really like the environment doon and feeling ko sobrang gandang start na theater career and hanggang dun pa lang yung plan ko actually and hindi ko pa alam talaga kung saan ako mararat saan ako mapupunta pero siguro that's okay na hindi ko pa alam kung anong mayayari sa buhay ko um, marami na mga mayayari sa college life Siguro hope for the best. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's uh, ito naman, di ba? Na you know, it's great. Uh, it's not a bad thing. Na di ka pa sure kung saan ka pupunta. Cause that's that's potential. Right now, your potential is uh, is infinite. You can go, you know, on a lot of different directions. Yeah. So thank you, Ate Leila. Uh, next up Hi. is. Ten, ten, and ten, boss Jules. Hi, so, uh, incoming college freshie ako sa UP Diliman, and I'm going to take VA film. Sobrang struggle nun, kasi may dilemma ako na meron ako nakuwang scholarship sa isang art school. And kasi yung, score, yung course ko dun, is a STEM course. Kasi sobrang laki ng scholarship, as in, alam mo yun, may food stops, tapos, ayun, basta, Ang, ang, ang laking deal niya. Tapos, pero nakapasa ako sa UP in an art course. So, ayun. Nag-deal ako sa dilemma na yun. Pero I still chose film in UPD. Tapos, nagde-design ako in a local streetwear brand. May kakalala ko na meron siyang clothing, clothing line. Tapos, nag-help ako mag-design doon. And, ayun. <laughs> doon pa lang ako. I think, uh, I hope, I really hope sa college, mas marami pang opportunities to mag-open for me. Ayan. Thank you, Ate Julian. So, tinurn down mo yung uh, other scholarship for UP. 
Huh? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, thank you, uh, speakers, for answering that third question. Um, now, uh, I'm going to pass you on to Yuan to ask the fourth question. Okay, so thank you, Ashley. Now, you've, all, you've, you've already heard um, our speakers' experiences, their challenges, and what are their plans on the future. Now, let's hear their tips, um, tips for our for us students who are still in Maxai. So, I think this is very much important to our lower years since my mga ko, just like Ashley, I think some of us already know, but still important na marinig natin. Okay, so let's pass on the mic to... Kuya Glenn, so Kuya Glenn, may we hear your tips for our students. Thank you. So, ayun, um, unang-una, unang, unang always strive to, bigay, is, to ano, do better. Um, kasi siguro, um, art is evolving, so dapat tayo rin nag evolve I mean, nag-grow din tayo sa, sa art. And, ayun, yung medyo connected siya sa next, na big outside the box kasi parang kung gusto mo mag-improve kailangan mo rin somehow ano lumabas sa comfort zone mo so ayun kailangan kailangan niyo matutunan ng ibang students kasi maraming takot pa rin parang natatakot silang I mean lumabas I mean mag-isip <laughs> other ways <laughs> tapos find inspiration ayun okay lang laging magkaroon ng inspiration especially if wala ka pang parang wala ka pang parang specific art style, parang sinasabi nga nila. Kasi kapag tumitingin ka ng inspirations, dun mo pa lang din madedevelop kung ano yung gusto mo, kung ano yung, kung ano yung trip mo as an artist. And tsaka, tsaka ka lang din magkakaroon ng, ng parang identity as an artist. And then, ayun, put yourself out there. Medyo connected lang din sila lahat. So, <laughs> sa pag sa pag put yourself out there feel ko kasama dito yung parang pag create ng ng ano mo sarili mong branding and i mean branding meaning na parang yung image na pinag project mo kasi for me um art parang creating art is one thing pero promoting yourself and promoting your art is another thing lalo na kung gusto mong parang uh, mag uh, I mean, kumita or mag-profit sa art mo kasi pinag-irapan mo yun eh. And kung gusto mong kumita doon and put yourself out there para mas makilala ka pa ng kumita. Uh, and then, take breaks para ma-avoid yung burnout. Ito yung lagi kong gusto sabihin. Parang kapag, kapag, kapag hindi mo feel gumawa ng anything ngayon, huwag mo pilitin yung sarili mo kasi parang hindi na siya genuine. Kapag mm-hmm. hindi mo gusto yung ginagawa mo at the moment, mas, mas mahihirapan kang magustuhan mas na in the coming days or years. So, mas maganda na parang kung kailangan mo ng break, mag, mag, mahinga ka muna. And then, ayun, enjoy your craft para, para masaya. Para, para masaya. Enjoy mo lang siya. Huwag mo siyang tingnan na parang trabaho game okay so yeah so just like what kuya glenn said always remember to always think outside the box and of course um, put your always put yourself out there and remember to take breaks to avoid burnout so take note guys uh, um this these are very important points since um i think most of us are experiencing these things now, thank you, Kuya Glenn. Now, let's proceed to Ate Leila. So, what can what advice or tips you can give to our students? Okay, so, ayun, first, learn. Being an artist is not just about talent. It's about hard work. So, if you have the privilege, you can register in professional seminars, workshops, and trainings para pasa pa yung talents mo sa acting, singing, or dancing. Uh, pero pag, ayun, kung wala kang time, kung wala kang budget, you can join orgs. You can join illusion. And, kasi, eh, makakasalamuha mo yung mga tao na same, same passion with you. Kaya, very helpful for your growth. 
Uh, ito, one of my biggest regret, hindi ako sumali ng choir. Very helpful lang choir if you really want to pursue theater kasi ayun, dito mo continuously ma pag-practice yung voice mo. Pero I'm not saying na sumali kayo just for these benefits, but join because you want to. And join because you have the time to. And ayun, may other means pa naman to learn. Maraming YouTube videos, legit. You can learn in YouTube yung mga theater experiences para ma-familiarize ka sa theater industry. Yung vocal training na pinupost sa inyo. One thing that I learned being a novice is that there's always, there should always be room for knowledge. Like, don't, hindi pwede yung enough lang yung alam mo. Kailangan matuto ka pa habang kaya. So, next is to watch plays. Ayan. Very helpful to watch plays para ma-familiarize ma ka sa mga professional plays and Ayun, ma-admire mo rin yung different creativity, ma obra maestra na ginagawa sa author. Uh, ayun din, it helps you to keep the fire burning. And share ko lang, no, last year, umat, uh, nanood kami ng Ang Huling El Bimbo. And I think we were 45 minutes early. So, bumasok kami with the theater sobrang empty. It was so big and sobrang empty. Pero para sa akin, hindi siya feel. Hindi ako, hindi ko na feel yung pagiging lonely in place. And mas naging comfortable pa ako kasi sobrang manghamangha ako. Tapos while looking at the stage, while looking at the empty stage, sinabi ko sa sarili ko na gusto ko mag-perform dyan someday. And ayun, tulong siya kasi... May, there's something to look forward to. So, have the time to immerse yourself sa mga plays. Merong local place sa UMAC. Uh, if you try sa mga private companies then Or, ayun, kung walang budget, there's always YouTube. Legit. And daming plays na uh, kapos sa YouTube right now by uh, CCPs ng Hala Pilipino, PETA, and mga university plays. Kaya, ayun, watch plays. Uh, next is, yeah, keep a journal. Sobrang helpful ang journal kasi natatrack mo yung dreams mo. And natatrack mo yung iniisip mo for the past few years. Wait lang. Uh, I have this notebook since 2011. So, nine years na siya sa akin. Tapos, sinusulat ko lang dito yung mga goals ko sa buhay. And sobrang nakakatulong siya kasi, for example, nagkakaroon ka na existential crisis. Ganon, ko ano bang gusto mong kunin in the future. A journal will help para ma-enlighten ka sa ano ba yung gusto mong gawin dati. And ano yung gusto mong pang gawin. Uh, you can read yung mga pinagsusulat mo nung bata ka pa. Tapos, uh, introspect. Reflect ka sa ginagawa mo as an artist through the years and strike it down kasi it really helps to keep the fire burning. Next is to know your history and build an advocacy. Uh, always remember, specifically sa mga theater artists, being an artist is not just a thought for entertainment. Okay. It's about telling a story. So it's important to know the history of theater and at the same time, the history of your nation para alam mo yung stories na ginagawa mo and makabuild ka ng advocacy while doing your passion. And to be an artist, uh, and art reflects the reality kasi. So in my opinion, as an artist, it is our responsibility for the audience to be enlightened sa sa process ng art and sa current situation ng bansa natin. Tapos, ayun din, people might look down. I really think that our role is so important. 
Kasi we put into we put ideas into people's minds not explicitly to urge them to take action sa mga nangyayari sa bansa natin. Kaya be proud. Be proud that you're an artist because you tell stories for change. Next is to build your own character. Ayan. It's very fulfilling to live a character's life kasi nagagawa mo yung mga bagay na hindi mo kayang gawin sa buhay mo. Like for example, nung grade 9, nag-isda ako, naging Disney princess ako nung grade 10, naging German queen ako nung pumapatay na tao, uh, naging student my first cheating friend and all that. Sobrang roller coaster ride of being a performer kasi ayun nga, sobrang daming experiences and at the same time, you get to look at the world with a di different perspective. Pero, Sana at the end of every production, you get to detach yourself from your character and be original. Uh, know yourself, know your limits, know your weaknesses and strengths, and grow as yourself, not as a character. And last, stay in the reality. It's okay to dream big. But it's not. But there's nothing wrong in being, and there's nothing wrong in being an idealist. Pero ayun nga, kailangan natin maging aware sa realidad. May nabasa ako sa Twitter isang thread. Eh, she was, uh, she is a theater actor, and she shared in that thread na yung pinakamababa na bayad sa isang theater actor is one thousand two hundred in one production and wala na, na sad ako kasi being a theater artist is a 24/7 job and then and then yung internalization and then yung rehearsals and then yung pag-invest mo sa makeup and costume and then lahat and then yung bayad lang sa yo is the two hour presentation na ipapakita mo sa audience so sobrang draining Tapos, yun yung reality, mababa, may times talaga na, ayun, mababa yung nabibigay. But, sana hindi to maging hindran sa atin to, uh, to pursue or kasi these people, hindi sila tumigil dahil dun sa reason na yun. Hindi sila tumigil dahil mababa yung bigay sa kanila. But, nag, nag nag-continue sila kasi gusto nila yung ginagawa nila at masaya sila sa ginagawa nila kasi at, uh, so, at the end of the day, fulfilled pa rin sila. Pero, don't let people take advantage of you still. If you think na, uh, sa lahat ng artist wa, if you think na you're being taken advantage of, if you think na hindi patas yung binibigay sa'yo, speak up. Tell the problem, kasi hindi naman nila maintindihan yan since they don't go through what you're doing. Ayun lang. Okay, so thank you, Ate Leila. So just like what she said, um, always learn, learn new things, uh, and continue pursuing your passion. And you may also stay in reality, but don't don't forget, and don't compromise or forget your um, passion or your art. Okay, so thank you, Ate Leila, again. Now, let's proceed to Boss Jules. Uh, Boss Jules, um, can you Hi. share your tips? So, thank you. Hi. So, yung una-una kong tip is to surround yourself with people that inspire you and learn from them. So, ayan, nandiyan si Liana Tario and si Joshua Omugtong. Sobrang dami kong alam ngayon sa art or sa sa traditional art man yan, sa digital art, na galing sa kanila. Kasama ko sila both from sa Kadluan and sa ITCG. Tapos si Tario, kasama ko siya every year sa Interms Committee. And ayun, sur surrounding yourself with the people who have the same passion and craft as you helps you avoid burnout then. Kasi may kasama kang gumagawa. And like I said, they inspire you. Bonus then kapag excused ka, may chance to excuse din sila. Like, if parehas kayong 
part ng event or ng club, may karamay ka. So, sabay kayo humahabol. Ayun. Diyan sa picture na yan, nakikita nyo na uh, yung nasa pinaka-right, dinadrawing ko dyan si Joshua habang nasa, habang nag-drawing din siya. Dinadrawing ko siya. Ayun lang. I think, yung effect sa akin of, of surrounding myself with people who have the same passion as me is that nagaganahan na ako kapag nakikita ko silang nag enjoy sa ginagawa nila. That, that is something that I enjoy too. So kapag nawawalan na ako ng gana, ayun, sobrang kumukuha ko sa kanila ng lakas. Tapos ayan, I don't know if nakikita nyo, pero dun sa isa sa middle pictures, yan, that was taken from Sinaliksik ng grade 10 kami. Kasi ano yan, isipin mo in 6 hours, magsusulat ka ng script, magfi-film ka, magfi-film and edit, tapos export ka ng isang short film. Tapos, so ayan, nakikita niyo sobrang stress namin ni Rihanna. Pero, alam mo yun, it, was, it wasn't easy, pero kapag kasama ko siya, kahit, sa, kahit sobrang stress na namin, I know na I can do it. Kasi, ano, ang dami na namin nagawa before. So, of course, dito makagawa din namin. So, ayun. The next naman, is, ayun, join clubs and orgs. And kung, kung possible, be active constantly every year para may kita mo yung kung paano ka nag improve And you can use that to look back and see how much you've improved. Ayun nga. Tapos like ito, sa kadluan ko. Galing yan sa kadluan. I started nung 2017, nung grade 10 yun. Tapos hanggang gumraduate ako, part na ako ng kadluan. May kita mo na, okay, so this, dito sa ginamit ko dati, it's different from yung ginagawa ko right now. And may kita mo kung meron bang improvement. Like, <laughs> ayan, lagi kong binabalikan yung 2017 ko, yung merong anghang noodles yan, yung nasa likod ni Via. And <laughs> first time ko kasi yan sa Kadluan, and hindi pa ako ganun ka-familiar with everything. Tapos, Ayun, hindi, hindi rin ako masyadong knowledgeable nung time na yun. Pero natutuwa ako kasi when I look back, I, I can see na, okay, kahit hindi halata sa akin, may improvements naman pala. I, I can see na, okay, katulad nito, gumawa ako. Uh, uh, yung sports banner, uh, I did that with yung kaangkanan. And ayun, wala lang. It's such, nakikita mo kasi in a tangible way kung yung profile mo as an artist, kung paano ka nag-grow. Lalo na kapag, ayun nga, nag-join ka ng clubs and ng orgs. So, guys, sumali kayo ng clubs and orgs. Then, yung next naman, uh, medyo related dun sa nauna, is, ayun, wag ka matakot nagpa-excuse. Kasi kapag syempre kasama ka sa clubs and orgs, lagi kang may excuse. Pero, alam mo yun, you're doing this for the school and Alam mo, kung contest man yan, practice, club work, press work, seminar, those can be huge opportunities for you. So don't turn them down dahil takot kayo magta-excuse. It will help it will help you rin matutunan yung time management. And usually may karami ka naman. <laughs> may kas kung may kasama ka doon, may sabay kayong hahabol, so hindi ka mag-isa. Basta don't neglect like your academics pa rin, of course, and like, make sure na meron kayo excuse letter para inform yung subject teachers nyo na wala kayo that day and humabol din kayo sa mga namimiss nyo kapag nagpapa-excuse kayo. And yung next is, invite others or share the opportunities you were given to, or to, to others. Kaya ako naging active sa ITCG dahil, dahil kay Gerard kasi uh, siya dapat yung isasali sa asinaliksik tapos pero uh, binigay niyo opportunity sa akin. I'm not saying ibigay niyo opportunity niyo sa iba. I'm saying na uh, invite niyo sila na sumali. And then, sa kadluan kasi, uh, hindi talaga ako part originally ng staff ng kadluan. Sinali lang ako nila Rihanna because they were in need of more artists. So, ayun. So, kapag meron kang opportunity, like, okay, uh, maybe dito sa club namin, ginag gumaga gumagawa kami ng ganito, Maybe you can join us. It's, it opens up a lot of doors for you. Ayan. And yung next naman is... Uh, next. Ayan. Offer your talents and abilities sa teachers and classmates. So kahit STEM school tayo, guys, yung mga events natin, kahit hindi arts-related, pwede kayong gumawa ng, ng ABP, ng PubMats, ng edits, ng 
stage design or anything. Kasi gamit na gamit yung arts, yung abilities nyo sa arts doon. And, ayun, yung next, yung next doon is learn to put your foot down. Siyempre, hindi, na, hindi tayo art school, so hindi familiar sa ginagawa natin. So, ayun. Uh, I think, uh, this is something I wish I did nung student pa lang ako. Kasi, napapansin ko, ayun, ay, uh, hindi masyadong valued yung, I'm not saying na hindi binavalue, pero hindi ganun binavalue yung, uh, yung artists. Minsan, minsan. Kasi, uh, hindi naman, like I said, hindi naman familiar lahat dun sa ginagawa natin. So, ayun, kapag hindi na fair yung demands, learn to say no or put your foot down. Have boundaries and wag, ma- wag magpaabuso. Kasi, how they treat you is possibly how they're, probably how they're going to treat other artists inside and outside Maxa. So, ganun. Of course, a lot of what we do is volunteer work naman. So, wala naman bayad. So, the least we can all do is treat each other well. Ayun, if someone doesn't treat you the way the way you deserve, help them understand in a constructive manner naman para hindi mangyari yun sa'yo next time or sa other people. And I'm sure hindi naman yun yung intention ng other people, if ever. Kasi, alam mo yun, we're all learning here. So, let's help build a community that values you as an artist and other artists as well. And yung next is, don't be afraid to suck at things. If we only do things na magaling tayo, marami tayo hindi gagawin. Kasi, alam mo yun, uh, uh, nakaka-pressure kasi parang uh, may thought sa isip natin na everything we put out, kailangan masterpiece. Pero, tayo kasi, uh, well, like I said, self-study tayo. And when it comes to our art, uh, hindi naman tayo like nakafocus talaga doon usually and since hindi nga tayo art school. So ayun, uh, be patient with yourself lang and continue learning. It's okay to do bad art and it's okay. Then next is do things at your own pace. This is something I'm still teaching myself. Of course, importante magkaroon ng discipline. Pero yung pressure and fear na we're falling behind our artist friends can be super paralyzing. Doon sa mga nakakilala sa akin, I made an art account nung beginning ng quarantine, pero hindi ko siya natuloy because of this. Because of this. Ayun, dahil doon sa pressure na yun, and yung thought na, oh my God, marami namang mas magaling sa akin. Ayun, bakit ba ako, mag, bakit ba ako mag-release ng art? Or, ayun, mas marami silang followers. Ganun. Parang, I feel like I was falling behind my friends. So, ayun. I think... We have different ways of getting over this naman. Pero I think it's an important step to acknowledge na it's okay to take time. We might not get there as fast as we want to, pero hopefully we'll get there at our own right time. So, ayun lang. Uh, yun yung tips ko for you guys. Ayun lang. Okay, so thank you so much, Ate Julian. Um, so just like what you've mentioned, again, um, guys, please take note and remember na, remember na, um, since wala na, wala, parang umunti na lang yung tao na active sa clubs, personally, na-observe ko rin yun. Um, let us all be active. Okay, so remember that. Then next, of course, just like sina- sa sulod na sinabi ni Ate Julian, huwag matakot may excuse. <laughs> okay, so that's that's very accurate since, syempre, um, syempre yung iba sa atin. Yeah. And syempre, <laughs> Um, kami nila Ashley, we worked with Ate Julian and tulad nga na sinabi niya, mahalaga na kasama mo yung mga tao natutun- na marami kang natutunan. And personally, ako ang dami ko natutunan kay Ate Julian. Di ba, Ashley? Ju- yep, yes. Kay Ate Julian, oh my God. Ang dami ko natutunan sa'yo. Okay, so thank you so much to our speakers. So guys, please take note. Remember all these tips since they are very important and very relevant sa experience natin sa Maxay. Very. Now, Ashley, and, I think yeah, we have... Okay. Yeah, you have something to say? I, I, no, before that though, I would also like to I would just like to add na yung mga tips na binigay nila sa atin, I feel like it's not just for your art or for the art you do. I think the, the great thing about these tips is that they apply to life in general. Like, Indeed, keep yes. a journal, know history, build an advocacy, stay in reality, don't be afraid to suck at things. 
those things in life in general those things are very uh, those tips are very important that yes. i think all of us have uh, has have to take to heart so yes. yeah again thank you to all uh, thank you really okay um, now ashki i so, think we have let's proceed to our next yep, segment okay so we we will be having an intermission uh, before we get to our q and a section um, but before that uh, i would like to remind all of the all of the participants in this uh, meeting that you can type your com uh, your questions and comments in the chat box so chat box. after the uh, intermission the speakers will be answering your questions yes you will read your questions and we will answer it so we'll now it, we yes. will uh, we can proceed to the intermission okay Hello? Tama ka nga Walang saysay kung itutuloy pa Hayaan na natin ang bukas Minsan ay nagtatanong kung saan Pero na iba to mo na lang sa ulan Ilang awit pa ba ang awitin o giliw ko Ilang ulit pa ba ang uulitin o giliw ko <laughs> so that was um, uh, F. Del Castillo and Atelela Feliciano. So thank you for yes, that. Thank you very much. Galing. Wonderful song. Galing, um, so, again, we're still waiting for uh, you guys questions. to ask your questions yes. in the uh, chat below. But uh, while we're waiting, I think we have a question. We have questions. our own yeah, to the speakers. Yeah. So, so okay. Hmm. This one's actually from uh, another member of a uh, former member of ITCG. ITCG. Uh, at the GIA. Yep. Um, she asks, uh, how do you encourage or persuade your family that you will take a non-STEM course? Because they enrolled you in a STEM school and now you're choosing. For me, this is also, I'm, I'm struggling to do this for me as well because uh, we're all scared that they might not accept that. So how do you convince your parents that you're taking a non-STEM course? So let's start with Kuya Glenn, yes. <laughs> um, for me, 
Nahirap talaga yung mm, ganun eh. Especially na meron pa rin stigma na parang in, walang pera sa art. Diba? So parang mahirap, mahirap din yung parents natin. Lalo na ng mga parents na gusto maging successful mga anak nila na pag-person ng art. Pero I think ano, siguro kailangan mo rin Uh, uh, kailangan na ito. Kailangan sure ka din sa uh, kung anong gusto mo. So, like, give them give them, like, plan kung ano mo gagawin yung mga yan. Kasi baka baka mahirapan mahirapan ka makandiyan sila. So, parang galing. Kayo ba? Hindi <laughs> ko din sure eh. Ano yung ito? Ako, ano, pinakita ko talaga sa family ko na ito talaga yung gusto ko gawin. And nakuha ko rin naman kasi sa kanila yung love ko for film. Kasi sobrang hilig nilang manood ng movies. Mami ko kapag bored, tara nood tayo sa Netflix. O kaya, tara sini tayo. Yung mami ko kasi senior citizen na siya. So free na siya sa sine. So ayun. Nakuha ko sa kanila yung love for that. Kaya ayun. Alam nila na gusto ko yung ginagawa ko. And... Meron, and, ayun, I show them na, okay, itong artist na to, kumita siya sa ganito. So, uh, I'm showing them that there's nothing to be afraid of para sa akin. So, I'll do my best naman. Ayun. Ikaw, Leila. Ako, wala ako masyadong input dyan kasi well, I'm blessed naman to have a parents na sobrang supportive sa kung anong gusto kong i-take sa college. Uh, ayun, support lang sila sa akin. Pero, uh, my dad is somehow talking, me, uh, talking to me na, pwede mo namang i-balance yan. Paano pag kumuha ka na lang ng STEM, tapos on the side ng yung, yung passion mo. Pero, pero pwede naman kung kumuha ka ng arts pa rin. Kasi, doon ka naman masaya. Masaya nga ganong talk. Siguro, ano na lang, uh, nang nahirapan lang ako, pag sumasali ako ng competitions na kailangan ko mag-invest ng money para mahon yung talent ko. Yung mga competition sa school, yung mga dance baganza na kailangan ng costume, kailangan bumili ng costume. Doon ako nahirap yung convince yung parents ko. Uh, siguro, one way to show na, uh, one way to convince them is galingan nyo sa ACADS. Legit. Galingan nyo sa ACADS. Uh, ipakita nyo sa kanila na kaya yun yung i-balance yung True. ginagawa yung ginagawa nyo. And at the same time, ginagawa nyo ng maganda yung akads mo. That's true, that's true. Tama po yan. Okay, so thank you so much to our speakers. Now, let's proceed to our question. So this question is from Jillian Mangasir. Okay, so what is your message to aspiring artists or artists themselves who are not supported by their parents? So again, what is your message to aspiring artists or artists themselves who are not supported by their parents? So this is a bit it's a hard question. So who'd like to go first? <laughs> to our speakers. <laughs> I mean, it's a very hard question. <laughs> but I guess this is a struggle that's being faced not by most artists, no? That's why some had to resort to to sideline their passion na lang talaga. Okay, so, now speakers, sino po yung gustong sumagot? Mga na sumagot? Ayun. Um, for me, connected lang din siya dun sa, sa tanong kanina. Siguro, um, mahirap, hindi talaga siya lagi na parang yung parents natin, supportado tayo sa decisions natin. Pero what, what you can do as aspiring artists is, ano, ipagpatuloy lang natin yung kung ano yung ginagawa natin. Kasi, ayun, kung, kung, kung sobrang passionate ka naman, you can naman mag, mag-fall into place pa rin lahat ng mga plano mo sa buhay. As long as, maghihirapan mo pa din lahat. Okay, thank you, Kegler. Okay, ate Lila. Don't stop at what you're doing. Kasi, not to rebel against them, but, It's your life. Yun yung, kung yun yung gusto kong gawin, ipagpatuloy mo lang. And kung kaya naman, um, do 
what makes them happy at the same time. Kasi uh, sabihin na natin na kung, kung hindi ka supportado ngayon, maybe pwede mo pang magawa yung passion mo in the future. Siguro it's okay na side lang, side, nasa side lang siya ngayon. But if you can support yourself na kung kaya mo, nang, kaya mo na yung sarili mo, uh, magagawa mo yan ng maayos in the future. Okay. If, uh, thank you, Ate Lina. Ate Lina, Boss Jules. Uh, all right, go. Uh, for me, if hindi mo mo, if hindi mo talaga mo convince yung parents mo na dito ka masaya, dito ka mag uh, maggo grow as a person. Uh, basta find a way na mabigay yung art mo into the world. Uh, kahit anong way man yan, don't stop, don't stop doing your passion. Kasi alam mo yun, the world needs your art. Ayon, yun ang sabi ko. Ayan, kahit hindi man tayo support ng parents nyo, yeah, kahit, katulad ng sabi ni Leila, it's your life. And, ayun, we will, the world will, will appreciate yung contribution mo sa arts. Maligit man yan or malaki. Ayan. Okay, so, thank you okay, for thank that, you, speakers. That's, thank you, honestly, speakers. a powerful message, you know. It's your life. Keep doing it and just don't stop. Right? Keep going. Okay. okay. <laughs> just yeah, keep see. going. Okay, so next up we have Jayush Fronda. What's up, Jayush? Um, he asks tips on self promotion. Po. Make your creative portfolio now. Siguro yung pa on. Very helpful. Instead of promoting sa, uh, yun, sa professional side ng arts industry, kung maayos yung creative portfolio mo. Pero in terms ng mga arts, uh, digital arts, I don't know. Yeah. I, okay. So, um, <laughs> uh, what about you, Kuya, Kuya Glenn? Um, ako siguro yung masishare ko lang. Ano, kasi sometimes ako natatakot ako mag-promote ng sarili ko. Since parang, yeah, parang medyo may, may takot, di ba? Pero yung magbibigay ko lang natin, ano, parang nagpasan niyo yung takot na yun. Kasi, kung, kung gusto mo i-promote talaga yung sarili mo, ano, kailangan, kailangan mo talaga, kailangan mo talagang I mean, eh, yeah, parang sabi ko kanina, you put yourself out there. So, dapat huwag tayong mataakot. Ayun. Okay, Kuya. Thank you. Okay. Um, uh, Ate Julian, Boss Jules. I think uh, sobrang importante yung help ng friends mo. So, if may friends kayo na artist, please supportahan niyo sila kung art accounts man yan, kung business nila. Kasi mahirap na uh, kami lang yung mag-promote na. I think hindi naman to advice sa artists, advice sa, I mean, sa artists din na merong friends na artists. Ayun, kasi so, sobrang importante ng support ng friends mo. Kasi sila yung nakikilala sa'yo. So, na, alam nila yung yung uh, yung process mo, alam nila yung art na ginagawa mo. Ay, ayun, I think uh, magsustart yung pag-gain natin ng uh, following from them. Ayan. Okay. Alright. So, Thank you, Ate Julian. So, yun, uh, don't be afraid to collaborate with others. Don't be afraid to share your art. And, most importantly, if you have art to share, uh, share it now. Share. Okay. So now let's proceed to our next question. So this question is from Alicia Eve Bermudez. So what steps did you take in order to gain opportunities for your art outside of school? So again, what steps did you take in order to gain opportunities for your art outside of school? So who'd like to go first to our speakers? Ako ano? Nag Naghanap ako ng theater company sa social media, Le legit. Nag-follow ako, lahat ng makita kong theater companies. Tapos, pag 
there's yung Sandbox Collective. Uh, nakita ko silang nag sa Instagram searching for intern. So, uh, sinabi ko sa sarili ko na may time naman ako since, ayun, last year naman namin. And sobrang helpful ng grade 12 pagsulat kasi dito nyo matutunan yung pagsulat ng resume tsaka cover letter and yun, yun lang yung ginamit ko yun lang yung sinasabi ko sa email nila to apply for the internship and very very helpful first step <laughs> okay thank you Ate Rila now I'd like to do okay Ate Julian what's Jules? <laughs> Ah, uh, ako naman may friends kasi ako na yung device said earlier na nagde-design ng for local streetwear brand. Ah, uh, pangalan ng unhated streetwear. Ah, uh, ayun, may friend, hindi ko siya friend directly, pero kapatid siya ng boyfriend ng pamangkin ko. And I decided to offer like uh, if you need designers, ayun. Tapos, yeah, sobrang helpful nga ng pagsulat niya ng sa grade 12 kasi yung apply niya talaga siya when you're looking for opportunities outside of school tapos ano rin ang daming ang daming ko nakikita na logo contests ganun sa Instagram kasi maraming businesses na magsa-start pa lang ngayon syempre quarantine ganun tapos ayun nagta-try ako mag-enter doon kahit sobrang long shot niya so you know what's there to lose naman ayun lang Ako ano, ako siguro yung magbibigay ko lang na advice, ano, build, build yourself, so, parang create, create a branding of yourself, tapos maka mag-promote online ng mga ko. And then kasi sa online, di ba, parang hindi lang naman yun, parang, parang nakakulong sa schoolmates mo, so marami ko pang iba nakakita nun. Yan, parang nung nag-post ako ng commission to before sa Facebook. parang ang daming nag ang daming nag-share at ang daming ang daming nakakita so eventually marami ring outside outsider ng Maktai na nag-commission sa akin. All right. Okay, Thanks so thank you po. So, so next question. Can move. Um next question is again from uh Jillian Mangaser. Uh, what makes passion a passion? And how do you know that it's worth pursuing? So, who would like to answer that first? <laughs> I think it's really weird. Eh? Uh, that's a personal journey. You have to find out for yourself. When you know, you know. Sure, <laughs> it takes research then. But it's your own personal journey. na kailangan ikaw yung sumagot niyan. Kasi that's when you know kapag you have this gut feeling in you. Ayan. True. Or kapag yung mga Si Kuya Glenda muna. Ay. <laughs> Yung, yung passion lang naman siguro for me yung mga yung mga interest mo yung kung anong gusto mong gawin na hindi mag hindi mo feel na parang dito pa lang trabaho yung parang hindi ka obligated to do it pero ginagawa mo siya out of your willingness to do it okay at Leila po and first of all, Uh, ano yan, yung, gusto, yung parang yung goal ko lang sa boys para maging masaya. So, kung masaya ako sa ginagawa ko, mag-verse ko yun. Yun yung passion ko. And you, I think you will know if it's worth pursuing. Pag, ayun, kung nakikita mo yung sarili mo in the future na masaya ka sa ginagawa mo, just like sabi ni Kuya Glenn, hindi siya big pabigat lang hindi siya requirement sa boy mo that's yun yun yung passion para mo okay okay so, so thank you thank po thank you to our speakers so let's proceed to our next question Ashki What? okay so this so this is our next question <laughs> this is from 
Martina Saman, okay? So how relevant and involved should artists be regarding societal issues? Also, bakit hindi sumali si Leila sa choir? <laughs> okay. how, how relevant and involved should artists be regarding societal issues? And again, also, but hindi sumali si Leila sa choir? Okay, so... Oh, you're so cool. Hindi ako sumali sa choir kasi alam ko sa sarili ko kung hanggang saan lang yung kaya ko. Alam ko, eh, admit na nahihirap pa na ako mag-juggle sa akads ko. Tapos, dagdag pa yung ilusyon. So, mas nahirapan ako. So, nag-decide na ako na hindi muna ako sasali ng choir since hindi ko na talaga kaya. <laughs> Ay, hanggang sila yung limit ko. Ayoko i-, i sobrang dagdagan yung trabaho kasi parang hindi na siya magiging masaya. Okay. So, so next, so the what? second question. <laughs> The, yung, the question before that, uh, how relevant yung, and involved? And involved. I think as artists, we have a platform. And ayan nga, when we start building a following, then we have an influence. Na, like, kasa, katulad nga nung sabi ni Leila, hindi lang entertainment yung role natin sa society. Meron tayong platform and gamitin natin 'yon. Kasi for me, ah, when we put our advocacy sa art natin, that's when we actually start putting a part of ourselves sa art natin. It actually becomes us kasi that's a, hindi lang naman 'yun, ano, hindi lang naman 'yun political things. The political is personal. Like if an LGBTQ artist puts LGBT art LGBT concepts in their art. Siyempre, alam mo yun, it's a part of who you are that you're sharing to the world then. Ayun, for me. Okay, Ayun thank you. So, Kuya Glenn po, regards dun sa relevant. Um, ano, um, same, same sentiment lang din ako. Meron as a artist. Yan, meron tayong meron to influence the people to influence our audience and i think um yung magiging critical critical parang point ng nun is kung paano natin influence sila kailangan natin gamitin nang tama yung platform natin for the good of the society yeah. all right okay thank, thank you, you glen uh, si ate leila all right that's what Uh, personally kasi, ang iniisip ko as a theater artist, since sinabi ko na kanina na we share ideas to our audiences. So, uh, ang naisip ko kasi, what get the wrong idea? Tapos, ma- mag-grow yun sa personality nila. Parang, it's a burden or like, that's our fault <laughs> for not do, but for not, uh, using our platform right kaya i really think it's our obligation to be involved sa nangyayari sa society na ayun dagdag ko lang ayun may responsibility tayo as artist as artists na i-educate din yung sarili natin kasi once we build our influence na ayun uh hindi lang tayo yung tum- nakatingin sa sarili natin and yung friends natin. Marami nakatingin sa atin. So, yun nga. Malaking responsibility din siya. Ayan. Okay. Thank okay, you for thank that, you. speakers. So, now we move on to the next question. Um, this is from Pamela Therese Viloria. For students who are in conflict with what they wish to pursue in college, particularly the conflict between STEM and art-related courses, how can this inner conflict be resolved? <laughs> um, I think it's <laughs> resolved lang yan. I mean, one way or another, you have to choose like kung yung gusto yung ng STEM or art-related. So, resolve mo lang yun kung pipili ka na. Pero sana, sa mapipili mo, dun ka mas mag-grow and dun sa mas... 
I think uh, know what you value. Ano, kasi hindi naman tayo lahat uh, financially stable. Kasi like yung art school sobrang ang mahal niya. Pero we can find ways para makuha natin yung opportunity na yon. Of course, like I said nga, ikaw, ikaw lang makakaalam nun kung, kung saan ka pupunta. Pero just know na, I mean, we're all hoping na kung saan ka man mapunta, dun ka, I mean, dun ka, uh, dun ka mag-grow, and dun ka dapat. Sana, I'm hoping. Ayun. And to, add, and to add lang, kung hindi mo pa na-resolve yung conflict before you go there, siguro, pag na-experience mo na, dun mo malalaman. And marami ka pa namang time, siguro, to do what you want. So, ayun. Big factor din yung experience sa pag-resolve ng conflict na yan. Ayun. Don't think na it's too late. There's always time for that. Ayun na. Okay, thank you for that, uh, speakers. Um, next is uh, Yuan. Okay, so this question is from Via Duran. How do you handle people who bashes, teases, or like badmouths your craft as an artist? Again, how do you handle people who bashes, teases, or like badmouths your craft as an artist? So to our speakers, would like to go first? Don't let them joke. Pero uh, with constructive criticism naman, huwag kasamain. Uh, accept it for your growth. Pag kung yung bashes naman or bad mouths, don't let it put you down. Kasi yung babalik tayo dun sa it's your life. It's dito ka masaya. So let, don't let other people, you know, make it bad for you. Saka ano, to add lang din, ano, may iba-iba rin kasi tayong parang perspective no art. So parang yung iba siguro hindi nila na-appreciate yung art mo, pero yung ibig sabihin nun, wala na nakaka-appreciate yung art mo. So, mas pagandang mag-focus tayo dun sa mga ipapakita na interested sila sa art natin and na-appreciate nila yun. And ignore na lang natin kung, kung may mga taong hindi magmong nalim. I think subjective yung art kasi hindi naman lahat ng gusto mo, magugustuhan ng iba. Pero, do you like your art? That's the, yun yung tanong. If they, they might not like it, pero ikaw, gusto mo ba yung nire-release mo? Gusto mo ba yung ginagawa mo? Ayan. Okay, so thank you very much to our dear speaker. So again, um, when it comes to these kinds of things, always treat them as constructive criticism. Sana ganun palagi, okay? So, Ashki? Okay. So, let's so next, the next this is uh, Nadine Salvador. Uh, she asks, uh, tips on, construct on constructing a good portfolio po. Can you guys? <laughs> So you mentioned earlier that you have to start creating your portfolio right away. So any tips on how to go about doing that? Ako sa Google lang ako natuto eh. Ngayon lang din ako nat Ngayon lang din ako natuto portfolio kasi ready ko na siya. And ayun, if ilagay yung greatest yung sa tingin niyo doon kayo pinaka nag-grow. Yun yung i-highlight nyo sa uh, portfolio nyo. Tapos, make it not boring para pag tinignan nila, uh, gaganahan sila na i-scan yung portfolio nyo. And maglagay din kayo ng insights while putting pictures, maglagay din kayo ng insights nyo sa growth nyo about being an artist. Ayan. Tsaka guys, mag-document na kayo ng everything. Ngayon pa lang, keep your certificates, take pictures. Kasi para kapag gumagawa na kayo, hindi na kayo mahirapan. Sobrang importante nun. Kahit hindi kayo mapicture, 
pa-picture kayo dyan sa event na pinupuntahan nyo tap, or sa mga, yung mga contest na sinasalihan nyo. Ayan. Ayan. Ano, add ko rin pala na kapag kagawa kayo ng portfolio, ano, dapat nagre-reflect talaga dun kung, kung ano kayo as an artist. And then, kita rin yung ano yung potential nyo as as sila yung future clients nyo. Sana nakikita din nila dun. Yung potential nyo as as their artist. Alright. So, um, thank you for that, speakers. So, uh, now we can move on to the next question. Okay. Which Thank you, is Ashley. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's proceed to learn. this question is from Lorraine Bonifacio. How did you find your art style and do you have any advice? So again, how did you find your art style and do you have any advice? I'm still finding it. <laughs> and I think that's okay. Ako, I try lang ko ano yung magustuhan ko and kung saan man ako magsistick, ayun. I, not to pressure ako kasi like, yung art account ko, nainis ako kasi ang, ang gulo niya. Kasi wala akong is, isang art style. Pero, in-acknowledge ko yung sarili ko na okay lang yan. You're, you're taking your time. Uh, ano lang, keep learning lang. Ayun. Ako, ano, hindi ko alam ko. Hindi ko alam ko may art style ba ako. Pero, sa graphic design kasi, parang, every year, parang nag, parang nag-release ng, ng trends. So, parang kung ano yung design na for the year na magiging effective. So, feel ko, walang specific art style yung graphic design. Kasi somehow, have to evolve through, through technology. So, kung, Kung, yung para sa iba naman, kung gusto nila ma-develop yung style nila, right. sa illustration, I think, ano, find inspiration online. Maram, I mean, or sumali kayo sa mga art communities sa Twitter, tapos check nyo dun kung alin yung parang sa tingin yung babagay sa inyo or babagay sa skills nyo. And then, from there, dun yung na-develop yung art style. Yeah. Okay, so thank you very much, speakers. Okay, let's proceed to our next question, Ashti. Okay, so next uh, we have uh, Raven Jillian Katudai. Uh, he uh, says, uh, Greetings po. What is your message to those who believe that a particular subject or area of knowledge is more worthy of being valued compared to art or music? saying that artists like me should not be studying in a school which helps students pursue a STEM-related course. Okay, ba? So, uh, who would like to go first? Any insights? Uh, what is your message? Uh, go <laughs> Siguro kasi it, hindi sa, there are subjects na mas worthy compared sa other. Pabalik tayo dun sa idea na uh, personal to eh. Kung ano yung gusto mong gawin, dun yung mas i-value mo na subject. So kung if you want to pursue STEM courses, mas i-value mo yung STEM courses, of course. Pero kung mas inclined ka sa arts, Kasi kung value mo yung arts, kasi yun yung makakatulong sa'yo for your growth. Eh. So, siguro hindi, hindi pat sabihin na hindi worthy or mas worthy yung subject na to than what you're studying. And ayun naman dun sa say that artists should not be studying in a school. Ako kasi nalaman ko lang na gusto kong maging artist kalagitnaan na ng kalagitnaan na ng high school. So, sorry ah. Sorry. Pero <laughs> <laughs> ano, um, 
worthy pa rin kaming mag-aaral doon kasi pinaghihirapan pa rin namin yun. Eh, ako at siguro kung ako, ano, i-educate ko lang siya na wala namang, wala namang subject na mas important kasi lahat naman sila may kanya-kanyang importance and as a whole, nag-work sila together. So kapag nawala yung isa, parang boring na lang. Kunyari, pag puro science lang yung tinuturo sa schools, pag science lang yung di ba parang ang, ang boring ng buhay? Parang yun na yun, parang puro, puro ka na lang numbers. Pero, <laughs> ayun, dapat nilang ma-realize na walang mas important. And, art, hindi siya important artist ka, wala, parang hindi mo na, hindi, hindi mo na kailangan mag-aaral sa stems. Kasi parang si, si Lee nga rin, na hindi, nalaman niya lang na gusto niya yung artist kalagit na ano, school year. And ako rin, nalaman ko lang din na gusto ko mag artist nung nasa Maxay na ako. Pero, pero hindi naman ibig sabihin na kapag STEM student ka na, STEM student ka na lang, hindi ka na pwede maging artist. Ayun. I think lahat naman tayo may role dito. And uh, yung art, sobrang, da- sobrang daming disciplines. And kailang- and the- yung tanong, I think, should not be studying in school. Um... I think yun nga, kailangan na natin sila i-educate kasi yun, hindi naman lahat tayo familiar sa ginagawa ng everyone. <laughs> I think medyo controversial to. Pero, I think lahat tayo may role sa society na to. As long as we're using our platforms, right? Ayan. Okay, so thank you for that, speakers. So um, now we will ask our, um, we're, we're close to the end of our uh, Q&A section and we will be asking our second to last question. So this comes from Daniel Tabnau. Uh, actually, he's asking on behalf of Kyle Sol, if I'm reading this correctly. Yep. Okay, so he says, uh, good afternoon po. Can you suggest softwares or programs for beginners in graphics design? Also, what channels, websites, or pages can you uh, suggest that will motivate you to improve your art? Uh, I think para dun sa channels, websites, or pages, may, may, seg, may show yung BuzzFeed na draw off. Sobra na adik ka dun kasi may time na sobra na wala na ako ng, ng gana gumawa ng art. And ang ginagawa kasi nila dun is nag-drawing lang yung animators and uh, illustrators sa dun sa, sa show na yun. They're trying to draw yung mga characters sa cartoons, ganun. And sobrang nakakagana siya kasi when you're watching people na nag enjoy sa ginagawa mo, you're you're motivated din na gumawa and they're giving advice din para sa iyo hindi lang sa art mo sa field din na papasukan mo so ayun BuzzFeed draw off and yung favorite artist ko doon si Jackie Lee ayun tapos softwares or programs for beginners in graphic designing i think universal to kailangan mo matuto mag photoshop pero since may bias siya uh meron mga free naman like GIMP and actually, kahit naman yung iba, nat- gumag- kahit gumamit sila ng paint, nakakagawa sila. So, there's no special, like, there's no, uh, there's no one software na kailangan na kailangan. I think uh, it helps na matuto ka uh, pagdating sa industry. Pero when you're starting, you can use anything, you can use anything na available sa'yo. Ayan. Ako, ano, based, based from experience, nagsimula ako sa PowerPoint. So, dun ako, dun ko unang na-develop yung parang yung sense of design and the graphic, the graphic design. So, siguro kung, kung gusto mong magsimula muna, pwede ka na muna mag-PowerPoint. And then, kung pwede ka na mag-step up, saka mo aralin yung Photoshop. 
Pero alam ko ano yung tuturo na tuturo ko rin ba ang tuturo yung Photoshop sa grade 8? Tuturo pa rin ba siya? Kami, naabutan uh, pa kami namin at, yun. Yeah, I'm not sure kami nalayuan, tinuruan ng Photoshop. Ayan, kung... Meron na rin silang ano, AutoCAD. Yeah. May <laughs> AutoCAD na siya. Pero sige. Ayun. Doon mo na kapag kapag ano start early na lang para maabutan niyo pa yung Photoshop na time para <laughs> para pag nag-progress na kayo ayun ma-apply niyo yung mga natutunan niyo and then sa channels and websites siguro ano common naman to yung pin, yung Pinterest marami marami doon sobra so find ano lang find inspiration lang sa mga nakikita niyo doon also yung sinabi ko nga kanina sali kayo sa mga art communities, lalo na sa, sa Twitter, gamitin nyo yung, ano, yung hashtag, ano, yung hashtag na RTH. Marami doon. Okay. Yan lang. Okay, thank you for that, uh, Kuya Glenn. Uh, Ati Leila, do you have any insights on this question? No, I don't know. I <laughs> <laughs> don't do graphic design. Yeah. Oh, but but uh, what about uh, pages, websites, or channels that uh, motivate you? Oh, this is from Hala Filipino. Ayon, tapos peta. Ah, uh, tapos the repertory yata. Basa those top theater organization. Sobrang inspiring kasi continuously silang nag. Uh, nag-inspire ng students na gusto mong pumasok sa theater industry. Okay, so thank you for that, speakers. And now we will go on to our uh, last question. So, Yuan? Okay, so this question is from Christine Saldivar. So, how do you decide to put a price on your commissions? In my case, I'm shy. I'm too shy to ask for anything or name a price because I believe I'm not a professional. So I believe this question is quite related to our second part of our webinar. So I guess before the speakers answer the question, we'd like to invite you to still attend our second day. So again, how do you decide to put a price on your commissions? In my case, I'm too shy to ask for anything or name a price because I believe I'm not a professional. Okay, so our speaker, Ate Julian. Ako, lang, i-share ko lang. Wala akong matutulong dyan. Pero kasi hindi ako, hindi na ako marunong mag-price ng commissions. Tatanungin ko si Rihanna, Rihanna, ano yung price mo dito? Sabihin niya rin hindi niya alam. So, ayun. I think very helpful, Kuya Glenn, kung sasagotin mo kami. <laughs> Pahelp po. <laughs> ako rin eh, hindi rin ako marunong actually. <laughs> pero, pero ano, pero sa akin kasi, tinatanong ko muna usually yung yung budget nung nung nagpapagawa para at least alam ko kung kung hanggang saan yung kaya niyang ipayad pero nakakatulong din kapag ano o, ano like, minsan nagse-search ako sa Google kung magkano <laughs> pero, pero ano naman i mean okay naman fair naman siya parang one time may nagpo-commission sa akin ng logo na sinerge ko sa Google kung, kung ano ba dapat yung parang standard price for logos. And okay naman, okay naman siya. Pero kapag sa other 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 design, like yung mga poster and all, usually kasi hindi ko pa natatry mag-commission ng ganun. Kasi puro, puro ano eh, puro parang part ng org. Parang pag-pub-pub-match pag for the org. So, parang free service siya. No way. And yung, yung sa shirt designs ko naman, parang ako rin kasi yung nagpo-produce ng shirt. So, per shirt lang din yung bayad dun. Parang iba yung iba yung rates dun. And wala pa akong, wala rin akong fix. So, baka makatulong yung mga nasa 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 next na webinar dito. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so thank you so much to our speakers. So Kuya Glenn, Ate Leila, and of course Ate Julian for participating and answering 
those various questions. Okay, so Ashki, so may may Yo. we request? <laughs> may we request? So and thank you for that, ask? speakers. Yes. So guys, uh, for everyone here, um, uh, you'd be surprised to know that we're actually joined by our uh, club advisor. Um, yes. Sir L. J. Flores. So now, can we ask our dearest club advisor, Sir L. J. Flores, for any last messages to our speakers and, of course, to our dearest Maxi student body? So, sir. Thank you, Ashley. Ayan, before that, um, ayan, sabrang ewang ko na flatter dako sa mga insights ng ng mga speakers like Julian, Glenn, hi Glenn and syempre si Leila. Ayan, um napaka kumbaga parang genuinely positive yung mga narinig ko and <clears throat> ayun, I I just wanna say na thank you for sharing your work with not only uh with not only to us or not only us but for the world. Okay, na kumbaga parang yun nga nabanggit kanina na na kayo as artist yung question kanina no na na parang ang sabi kanina na anong masasabi dun sa mga nambabash nagre-criticize ayun kumbaga parang kayo kasi pag nag-share kayo ng ng mga designs niyo ng mga art niyo fearless na yun eh wala na kayong takot dun kasi pinagmamalaki niyo kasi ito yung gawa niyo okay and um ayan thank you also for reminding us of what's possible ayan na kumbaga parang yung mga bata, uh, yung mga lower years na ini-inspire nyo sila uh, to work hard and um, to, uh, ini-inspire nyo rin sila na, na mag-grow pa okay, sa kanilang mga sarili. Ayan. And um, gusto ko rin sabihin no, na yun nga yung kay, kay Glenn. Tama yung kay Glenn yung sinabi niya kanina na yun yung, yung art since part ka ng organization. Kumbaga parang voluntarily, ayan, you will give your your best, or you will give your best shot, kumbaga. Okay? And, um, ayun, thank you for what you create. Ayan, kasi kahit, kahit, kumbaga, parang in one picture, pwede niyang sabihin lahat. Okay? Kasi yun yung power ninyo, eh. Actually, sobrang blessed na mga katulad <coughs> na mga artists talaga sa, sa mundo. Okay? At, kumbaga, parang lagi kong, <coughs> lagi kong silang hinahangaan doon. Kasi, hindi naman ako artsy na tao. So, ayan, ang laki ng respeto ko sa inyo kasi mahirap yung ginagawa ninyo. And, ayun, um, actually, habang nakikinig ako sa inyo, kasi 1-7 ako pumasok dito, so naririnig ko na yung mga question. Ayan. Um, Kung baga parang naging outlet din yung mga speakers para ma-challenge pa yung mga, yung mga, um, yung mga students ngayon na nasa Maxay. Ayan. And, again, thank you for sharing your story na kumbaga parang kung wala kayo, hindi maririnig yung mga boss ninyo and hindi rin may inspire yung mga katulad ninyong aspiring artist. Ayan. So, again, thank you, Leila, Julian, and Glenn. And also, thank you for the ITCG. Okay? Ayan. Ang galing mag-host ng dalawa nating ano, dalawa nating kung sa araw na to. And uh, you. Ayan. Yun lang. Maraming salamat at um, very good yung discussion. Congratulations to ITCG and congratulations to all the speakers. Ayan. Thank you, sir. All right. So, sir. thank you, Sir LJ. Thank you, sir. So, as a token of our appreciation from ITCG, not just ITCG, but uh, Makati Science High School in general, we would like to present our three speakers with this digital certificate. So, if you would allow me, I would uh, read it out. So, Makati Science High School Information Technology Core Group presents this Certificate of Appreciation to Leila Clariza Feliciano, Julian Rose Reyes, and Glenn Cultura for sharing his or her knowledge and experience as an artist to the Makati Science High School student body during the webinar entitled, Where Art Thou? STEM Creatives, given the second day of July, 2020, as part of the Information Technology Core Group's connected program so thank you to all of our speakers yes. for thank you for everything okay so now before we end i would just i would like to to give special thanks to our speakers again um kuya glenn ate leila and of course to our former itcg president Boss Jules. <laughs> Boss Jules. thank you so much um even if you're already an alumni Alun alun sa Maxay, inutulungan mo pa rin kaming ITCG team. Okay? And of course to our, to 
to our ITCG team, Kuya Rafael Renario, to Ate Gia Jarin, Alex Mena, Rafael Miguel Rosero, Ezra Pintukan, and of course to our advisor, Sir LJ Flores, for guiding us and allowing us to conduct this webinar. So to Makati Science High School students, again, um, thank you for participating in our webinar. And I would like to promote our second part, our the connected webinar discussion. Um, pumunta kayo sa day to namin since it is very important to relevant para din sa atin. Okay? And again, I would like to inform the Makati Science High School student that students, art, student artists that ITCG will always support, Maxi ITCG will support your artworks and we would like to share your artworks, your works in our social media accounts and we will continue to support you just like other artists in our school. So and, again, uh, Maxi, maraming salamat po. And we look forward to uh, our speaker's uh, future endeavors in life. So wait, yes. before that, um, one of the most important members of our club, uh, you might see him presenting the PowerPoint right now, uh, yes. Luke Bebenong World, Luke Paguitan. Uh, we would like to extend our gratitude to him. Our MVP, and he's the, he's the minds behind most of our technical uh, programs. Yes. Thank you so much, Luke. Okay. And so, I think the PowerPoint na to, gawa na ni Rihanna Tario. Rihanna Tario, yes. Okay, thank you to Ate Rihanna Tario. And Maxay, again, maraming salamat po. And sana po tomorrow, I mean, sa July 4, makasali pa rin po kayo sa day 2 ng aming webinar discussion. So, thank you guys. And God bless. Thank you guys. Thank you everyone.